All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How all my adventures doing? Welcome back to some more. Yes, more devlog. This is devlog number 23. This is where I'm going to be actually making a UI for the party screen. Uh, next video will be more of like actually getting the party system to work. Right now, I'm putting the bag and the monsters option so you can switch out the monster girls when it comes to it. But bag will be more likely changed to spells instead for reasons that will be shown like way later on towards like items. Uh, right here, I'm just trying to like figure out the gridding for some reason. Right here, I was trying to fix this S going down here. But the only thing is I could, I just had to change the font size. That that was the only real issue was the font size. Font size was too big for this. So I think I ended up changing it to 30. So I thought I had to do something with the cell size. So I just ended up changing that one by itself. It actually worked out. Then I was trying to like get as close as this edge as I could so there wouldn't be this gap here. I think I'm just got to change the font size on that too. But then again, I'm I'm not too worried about it. It's fine. So now I'm just adding this to my dialog box in my action selector. Now we get into the coding. basically having to change the navigation because previously you guys saw that we only had fighting well fight and run option and now we have to be able to go left and right So basically adding all the keys for that. Uh, the keys inside of this might change as well, because right now it's like C and X. I'm thinking about changing it to enter as confirming instead. Just to give people more of a comfortable control with just playing with one hand instead of just, you know, reaching across the keyboard and interacting with it. Or we'll just might have a way to just key bind. Either that or have it movable with mouse, selectable with mouse. In the future. At the moment, that's the least of my concerns. This is where I have like a little bit of issue trying to copy it because I'm in my head I'm trying to get it to line up perfectly with this because somehow he he did it perfectly and for some reason I can't <laughs> I was just sitting there like how do you do it <laughs> so I just went by and just like yeah fuck it I'll just do it the normal way So now we actually have the selectable options. So this is the go back system to back out of the bag. Just in case you don't want to, you know, be in the bag option. I'm 
knock a test and make sure everything can go left and right. Everything's working. So now we get to go and make the actual party system itself. We just turned off the animations for um, choose an action. So now we're going to make the party party screen. I actually did this wrong because the canvas, I actually did this outside of where it needed to be. There we go. I was supposed to do it in that, then stretch it out. Don't worry about this down here. I say like, you won't see that in the actual like game itself. So, you know, the unseen eye. <laughs> so I basically use the same, well, copy the same like player hood that was inside of the actual battle and use that. I had to change all their colorings too. I have an idea of what I want to do with the screen, so this isn't like set and done. Just placeholders. Now we're going to have a little message down here. I plan on actually changing that message to something else. Could we change it to choose a monster? All right, so now we got to make the code for all of that to work and prepare for the next video, which will be devlog24. We're making it to where the we're making it to where the party screen actually like puts in the monster girls that you have owned inside of your bag. So when I do this correctly, I should only have slime princess and Tigura. I believe so. They'll show up in my bag, or whichever one that I have it confirmed to. I will say this, once I do catch up with um, Game Dev Experiments videos, I will be taking like a break from from uh, learning his videos and trying to find a a coder on Fiverr that can help me further that why I'm still learning Unity because it gives me time for, for the game to have progress keep going forward why I'm committing everything to like learning and then be able to do my own thing after that. That's at least the goal. But that won't happen for like, you know, a couple of months from now anyway. Or a year. <laughs> However long it takes me to catch up. 
been like extremely busy this week, so. Yeah. Haven't been able to do much. Also, Happy New Year's to those who weren't. Sorry, I had itch. Who weren't in the stream. The New Year's stream. I don't really celebrate New Year's anymore, or really any holidays. I don't even celebrate my own birthday anymore. I know, you probably think that's sad, it's just kind of it's just like, yeah, I just have no interest in it. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker, I forget how old I am sometimes. <laughs> I learned that now I made this into like, I think a child object? I think that's what it, he called it. I could just change everything just through this. Which is nice. Anything that's been duplicated, I could just change off of just one tab of the original that I duplicated. So now we can see the, the end effects. As you see, Slime Princess and Slime Girl are inside of my party. And the rest of all the slots aren't showing up because I don't have any more inside my party. So this is perfect. I wanted to make, I want to also make it in the future to where it actually shows, I can get some icons done too for the Monster Girls, or I can use my buttons that I've been creating for a, for the website as that. And I could just figure out how to keep that as images as well. We'll do that in the future. At the moment, like I said, not worried about it. That That's a lug, luxury thing at the end of the day. <laughs> I also realized that this is overtaking like a little bit too much for some reason. Like the HP bar. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the progress of the party UI. Now we're gonna actually get it working for the next dialog, devlog, and you know, have that ready to go. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.